Oh, wow. How special <laughs> for that little kid, too. Everybody cheering for him. I right. love that. I love that story. That's awesome. Okay, Brandon, let's talk about New Year's Eve. Of course, a lot of you probably planning on heading out tomorrow night. How's the weather going to be? It doesn't look too bad, Sharon. Here is your New Year's Eve planner. Hard to believe we're almost there. Around 32 degrees as the clock strikes midnight and we ring in 2024 and there will be some cloud cover across eastern Oklahoma. Take a look at the 24 hour temperature change. Some plus 11 degrees warmer in McAllister plus 12 out in Tahlequah and also in Pryor. This is a live look from our Wade's RV weather camera network ORU Cityplex Tower looking off towards the north and northwest. The official daytime high today was impressive for this time of year. 57 degrees, 54 is the current temperature, not a breath of wind and pretty low on the relative humidity now down to around 40%. Take a look at that temperature in Poto, 50 degrees, 47 in Fort Smith, 46 in Tahlequah and already down into the low 40s in the Grove area. On the satellite picture over the past couple of hours you can see this cloud cover departing off towards the southeast so opening up the door to a lot of clearing tonight across southeast Kansas and eastern Oklahoma but take a look at there that is the desert southwest and more cloud cover will be coming in from the west tomorrow as a cold front moves on through eastern Oklahoma switching up the wind direction and really dropping those daytime highs so that cloud cover racing off towards the east the cloud cover starts to move in from the desert southwest by early tomorrow morning so that comes in from the west. You can see around green country and up and throughout Kansas. A lot of thick cloud cover, especially late in the morning and throughout the afternoon. With the cold front coming in tomorrow, not expecting any precipitation. The next chance for some rain showers in the area will be later next week. Now, initially we thought maybe a cold front would drop us some rain showers around Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, but the latest computer weather model is suggesting that midweek system is going to dive off towards the south, so more towards Louisiana and Texas and in throughout the Gulf of Mexico. So again, later in the week, that's the next chance for some rain showers on your latest 10 day forecast. We're dipping things down into the upper 20s, so below freezing. That wind shift comes in tonight with that cold front pulling out of the north northwest eventually between about 5 and 15. Overnight lows into the 20s to right around 30 degrees, pretty much on par for this time of year, which is 29 degrees in the city of Tulsa. Much colder tomorrow, so prepare for that 43 degrees and that wind howling out of the north northeast between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. Daytime highs looks to be the warmest there along into the south of Interstate 40 with those high temperatures into the lower 50s. Here's your latest 10 day forecast to ring in 2024 44 degrees into the upper 40s on Tuesday, helping to plan your day. Mostly cloudy skies and cold at noon into the upper 30s and your extended forecast. You can see those temperatures creeping up a little bit 50 degrees on Thursday and the next chance for rain will be later in the week, as we mentioned, coming up on Friday and also on Saturday. Pretty low chances right now at around 20%, but we'll keep track of those changes for you. I'm not sure if I'm ready for these really cold temperatures. We've kind of had like a nice warm December. I mean, and today was incredible. Yeah. But really noticing that change tomorrow with the cold fronts. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Mm -hmm.